Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's Patch Tuesday, and yesterday on the 14th of Feb, in my region, Microsoft started rolling out uh, the compulsory mandatory automatic cumulative update for Windows 10. And if we head over to our Windows update page, view update history, uh, the update will be downloaded and installed automatically, KB5022834 which was rolled out and made available for Windows 10 versions 22H2, 21H2, and 20H2. That would be the server edition of 20H2. Now, the update uh, is a security update, as most of the Patch Tuesday updates are. And over and above being a security update, there is a key highlight and a, a improvement that Microsoft does note uh, in the release notes for this update where they say 5022834 addresses an issue that affects certain Internet of Things. That's IoT for short devices. They were losing audio. So that loss of audio now addressed with this latest uh, Patch Tuesday security update. Now, um, just to go through the security fixes quickly for this month, February. And when it comes to Windows 10, uh, there are 30 vulnerabilities that have been fixed and addressed. So this is an important security update. Three of those are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And those three critical uh, flaws that have been addressed are remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means a hacker, an attacker, the bad guy, so to speak, can gain access uh, to your system through the internet or over a network, as an example. So 34 vulnerabilities being addressed this month for Windows 10. Three of those critical, so an important security update rolling out. Now, um, as always, uh, this security update will include quality improvements from the January C release update, which was an optional bug fix update, which also included improvements to Windows 10, KB5019275. So uh, if you didn't install this update at the end of January, then... Um, those improvements and bug fixes will be carried over into this update for this month, the Patch Tuesday update, KB5022834. Now, I did post a whole video on those um, on those improvements and fixes for KB5019275, but just to do a quick recap, uh, the fixes that rolled out, the first was they fixed an issue that was causing the news and interest feature on the taskbar to flicker in Windows 10, so uh, that has been addressed with this latest update. If you didn't install that previous bug fix C release update, uh, they also fixed an issue with the File Explorer uh, where it was crashing in Windows 10, so that's been addressed. Storage alerts for Microsoft OneDrive subscribers are now on the system page in the Settings app. Something very similar rolled out to Windows 11 as well. And then it would include um, numerous bug fixes, including a TPM fix on certain systems. And as mentioned, I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you would just like some more info. And that's it. Over and above the servicing stack, which was also um, updated to receive quality improvements, which is the component that installs Windows updates. That's more or less that is rolled out for Patch Tuesday for February for Windows 10. And uh, if we just head over to Winver about windows this will give us our bold our latest upgrade for the bold and for windows 10 version 22h2 the os bold is now upgraded to 19045.2604 um, if you are using windows 10 21h2 that'll be 19044.2604 so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.